19. It's a question we get constantly. If I'm fully vaccinated, why do I still have to wear a mask? Fully vaccinated doesn't mean fully immune. In fact, the CDC recently said going without a mask outdoors is okay in some situations, but indoors it's a different story. We spoke with one of our ABC 15 health insiders to explain why. Face masks at first one of the hardest parts of the pandemic to get used to. Chances are more than a year later, you still don't love wearing one, but have listened to the science and realize masks help protect us from the coronavirus. But if you're already fully vaccinated, can't you take it off? So it's not 100% effective. That's the first thing to remember. Although all three vaccines do remarkably well at defending us against COVID, none of the vaccines offer total protection, meaning there is still a slim chance you could get infected. Pfizer and Moderna are roughly 95% effective at preventing moderate cases. Johnson & Johnson, roughly 75%. Although all three offer nearly 100% protection against serious disease and death, like we said, they're not perfect. In fact, according to the CDC, at least 5,800 fully vaccinated people still got infected with COVID-19 here in the U.S. To give you more context, at the time of that report, 77 million Americans were fully vaccinated. Another thing to consider, says ABC 15 Health Insider Dr. Janice Johnston for Redirect Health, is asymptomatic spread. If I'm not masking, and I'm asymptomatic, I could spread it to others um, who either haven't been vaccinated yet um, or choose not to be vaccinated. Now we wonder how long we'll be masking. Dr. Johnson says they could become the new norm in certain situations. I don't know what's going to happen, honestly. I do think that when, um, certainly for myself, I think about when I travel on a plane, I think I'll probably wear a mask indefinitely myself. You know, we've all been in that situation be where the person beside you was coughing or a few rows back is coughing or they don't look so hot. And what do they have? I mean, it might not be COVID. It could be the flu. It could be pneumonia. It could be tuberculosis. It could be whooping cough. It could be a whole host of things. And we've seen the silver lining in wearing masks. Flu cases across the U.S. and here in Arizona are down dramatically from last year. So far this year, we've only seen about 1,000 flu cases in our state. We normally see about double that in one week during the peak of an average flu season. The ABC 15 Health Insider team is working to get your questions answered. Email your questions and story ideas to healthinsider at abc15.com and check out the Health Insider webpage on abc15.com to find all of our stories.